today we will create a react native application in mac os so for that first we need to open terminal then redirect this terminal part to desktop means where you want to store project that part. then np x react native is in it then project name demo then version number version is 6.1.2 always select lower version of lower version don't always select latest version select only one version down is now current version is 6.0.62 so now that's why i selected 0.61 because it is stable version so it will take some time to complete the setup to install the react to install uh, react native in mac so you can refer this website which is reactnative.dev and you can click on get started then you can follow this procedure you can go in set up the development environment and you can follow these steps Enter. Normally, I have created React Native CLI Quick Start. So you can follow these steps for Mac as well as there are steps for Windows and Linux. And on Mac, you can develop for both iOS and Android. And in Windows and Linux, you can develop in both but test in one in Android only. So for iOS, you need Mac system only. Okay, I see our project is still getting okay. It's now yeah now it's done so i'm using here visual code so here you need to open folder then select your project then open okay so here app here there is app.js where your, where your first file is going to execute so you can go in new terminal terminal new terminal so here path will be directly to the project folder so you don't need to navigate anywhere and then directly start npx react native run ios so it will now start simulator ios simulator iphone 11 and it will also start launching iPhone. so this will also take some time because it's running for first time so now this will build This project is building for first time, that's why it's taking more time.
and for starting android simulator you need to follow these steps before you run simulator you need to set up some things but for ios you can directly run in the react native because xcode already does for does all things so in android you need to configure sd in this uh, android home environment variable then then you need to also download this android sdk sdk platform and virtual android virtual device for simulator and in android you also need to install this jdk 8 so here you can see in ios it's fine now this is in ios actually it's building uh, project so that it can run in in simulator for first time next time this will be faster hmm. now here metro server is started so, so whenever you are you change file in in application or in project and when you save the server will automatically render in ios or in android device actually here scene is that uh, your project is hosted hosted using url so whenever you change something you need to refresh that url here that changes get reflected means that script get rendered in project so now it's loading that full jsx script okay. this is default or uh, template which is downloaded and things which are written in the react native so you can directly go and change these things you can directly modify over here and you can see how it works and delete this if things are not required you can delete These are you can use type sheets here for design. Okay, here you can directly view and text. Every text element should be rendered in text. and you can save this so here it will directly change everything when you save so here you can do style term align center and comma justify so still it is on top uh, Here you can see hello world. So whenever you say or when you press R on terminal, it will reload full application and do this one. Thank you.